Can Murphy hold him up? It's Pierce Murphy, but Sydney get a booty. Sydney get a booty moving up. The two Colorado boys going neck and neck. Back to Corona. It's a Colorado battle right now. Murphy, Corona, Sydney get a booty. Get a booty, the freshman out of Adams State. 13, 34, 35. Get a booty for the win. Welcome back to Run Junkie, brought to you by friends at Mizuno. Check it out. We got these nice little Mizuno warm-up outfits. And the best thing about them is they give you pockets right here. Like, what do you think's in here? Um, gum? A nope, sword? Nope, nope, no. nope. Spikes? Star Wars. <laughs> the Boston Marathon went down yesterday, and the Ethiopians dominated. Hele and Beise took the crowns, and Hele, he's only 21 years old. Jojo, what were you doing when you were 21? Mm. <laughs> Crushed it. At the Mount Sac Relays, the Oregon women shook up the NCAA team rankings after an impressive 4 by one victory, and get this, 42-68, that ranks the Ducks number three school all time. Now, imagine if Jenna Prandini hadn't gone pro. I know, Jenna Prandini, she won that race in 1095. If they had her to that four by one, Snap. Ooh, that would be sick. I would go crazy on myself. Moving up in distance, Allison Felix threw down a 49.5 four by four split on that second leg. We can't wait. Allison, just run an open four. We want to see how fast you truly can be. And one of the most loaded races of the day, Laura Raisler came away as the victor in that Ooh. women's 800. She ran 201. Right behind her, there was a loaded collegiate battle as indoor mile champ Kayla Edwards beat out indoor what? 800 champ Raven Rogers. We looked at Raven Rogers as being unbeatable in the 800 on the collegiate scene, but Kayla Edwards, is she, gonna, see that coming. is she gonna run the 1500 or the 800 now? Both. She, she's the champ and she just beat the champ. What's she gonna do? What it's do you want? Moving over to the men's side, Dwayne Solomon took the men's 800 field in 145-47 over collegiate Iliad Rudo, who ran 145-59. But remember Donovan Brazier? He ran 145-93 in January. He was on the track, he ran an 800, and he got fifth. 151. Brazier, what happened? Shock of the weekend, Lauren Paquette. Ooh. Wait, who's that? I'll tell you. She improved by 45 seconds in the 5K for a new PR, Mount Sac Relays win, and a world lead of 15.20. You kidding me? 15.20, that is insane. World lead, Lauren Paquette. Also insane, the men's 5K. What happened? Sydney Getabude is what happened. He took the victory, 13.36, took down all the D1 guys. Sydney Getabude, not just the NCAA leader in D2, He's the NCAA leader across all divisions. I'm a monster, I'm a killer. Gordon. What? Who's faster? Okay. The fastest NFL wide receiver right. or Olympic gold medalist 100 meter runner? See, I'm not qualified to answer that question, but I know who is. Because track is my favorite sport and it's my heart. I never lie to a football player and tell him he's fast as a track guy. I, I, I don't care if the dude didn't even make the semis in track. He's faster than everybody in football. And the are you kidding me moment of the weekend had to be LaShawn Merritt running 1978 in the Bahamas, wind legal. Merritt, he is definitely on pace to knock down that 400 meter world record. Sickest triple of the weekend goes to Castor Semenya, Oosh. who ran 50.74 on the 400, 158.45, 800, and 410 in the 1500 at the South Africa National Championships. Should we just hand her the Olympic gold? <laughs> we could. Here. Do you have it? It might be in my pocket. Looking forward to this weekend. We're gonna be live at not one, not two, not three, but four places this weekend, starting with the Larry Ells Invitational in Princeton, New Jersey, where we're gonna see Aji Wilson, Chanel Price, Duke it out, but most notably, Drew Hunter. He's back, running the 1500. That's right, live on flow. Can he get that US Olympic trial standard of 338? Yes, he can, because Robbie Andrews is gonna be the rabbit. Ooh, so it's gonna be a perfect race for him. Also, later on that weekend, we're gonna be live at the Michael Johnson Classic, where we're gonna see the star, the Baylor, former Baylor Bear, Mr. Trayvon Brumell. That's right, he's gonna be running that 100 dash, see how he can do there. Also, we're gonna also be on the West Coast, the Stanford Twilight. See some of those Stanford boys and girls getting some action up in there. Can they get 
they're, you know what they're doing. This is, they're getting ready for Peyton Jordan, which will be next weekend, which we won't talk about then. But Stanford Twilight, going to be insane. And last but not least, JoJo, where else are we going to be? The Kansas Relays. That's right. Three days of the best track in the Midwest. You got your fix? I could say it differently. It's not a question. You got your fix.